Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Hope you're doing good and fine. Welcome to our Unit 10 Revision. Today, we are going to revise our main lesson vocabulary. Okay? Energy, pitch, and pull. Each one of these words, I want you to put them in the perfect place. Okay? Fill in the blanks. Number one. The place on a magnet where the pull is the greatest is the energy, pitch, or pull. What do you think? Okay. Number two. Something that can cause matter to move or change is energy pitch or pull something that can ma cause matter to to move or change oh this is easy i remember that how high or low sound seems is called oh so now we are talking about sound so if i want to know how high or low a sound seems, we call it energy, pitch, or pull. Are you ready to see your answers? Is it right or wrong? Please, if you got it right, put a big star for yourself. Let's see that. Now, the place on a magnet where the pull is the greatest, definitely it's pull. And if something that can cause matter to move or change, we call it energy, definitely. And when you talk about how high or low, low sound seems, we call it pitch. Yes. Now let's go to the next questions. We are going to test your science concepts. Question number four. Choose the correct answer. What kind of energy results when an object vibrates? <laughs> so, is it heat? Is it light? What about sound? Who needs to vibrate to make an energy? Heat needs to vibrate or light or sound. What do you think? Number five. What kind of objects can a magnet attract? A magnet can attract all objects or only other magnets or objects made from iron or steel. What do you think, guys? Let's see the answers. Okay, a kind of energy that needs to vibrate, definitely it's a sound. Just like the drum or a piano or uh, a violin. Okay, what about kind of objects that a magnet can attract? Its objects are made from iron and steel. Excellent, boys and girls. If you got them right, put a big star for yourself. Let's complete. What do we have more? All right, over here, number six. What can you see in this picture? Okay, I can see a magnet and a boy. He's trying to pull some screws, maybe. Okay, what does this picture show about magnets? Magnets must touch object to repel them or magnets must touch objects to attract them or magnets can attract objects without touching them. What do you think? 
think, think, think. Okay. Number seven. Which are kinds of energy? I'm going to read it for you. Tell me if all of them are kinds of energy or not. A. Heat, light, and sound. Okay. B. Heat, magnets, and light. Or C. Light, sound, and magnets. Which are kinds of energy? What do you think? A, B, or C? Okay. Now, number eight. What kinds of energy does the sun give off? Oh, so what kind of energy that comes from the sun? Let me think. Is it heat and light? Or light and sound? Or heat, light, and sound? Hmm. If you go outside the playground, what energy can you take from the sun? Think with me. Okay. Number nine. What happens when sound energy increases? A sound vibrates? Or a sound gets louder? Or the pitch of the sound goes up. If you want to increase the energy of the sound, what is happening? You are increasing the sound of energy. So what is happening? A, B, or C? Are you ready to see the answers? Okay, let's see them. Okay. Number six, definitely this picture showing that magnets can attract objects without touching them. Of course, a magnet have a good field that, a magnetic field that can attract things without touching it. Excellent. Now, number seven, which, kind, uh, which are kinds of energy? Definitely, it's A, heat, light, and sound. Okay, and what the kind of energy does the sun give off? Of course, it gives us heat and light. And the last one, what happens when sound energy increases? A sound gets louder. Definitely. All right, boys and girls, that's it for today. See you.